L let me first describe the difference in how they should be used and why. Surgical masks are used to prevent transmission of disease. Um, everyone has seen the profile of somebody coughing and this huge plume of spray that comes out when they cough or sneeze. And what we want to do is encourage people who are ill to wear masks that basically dampen that plume that goes out. Something that everybody should now be doing is when you cough or sneeze, go like this. <coughs> Please, I would prefer that they do this, then cover your mouth with your hand, and then go say, hi, how are you? You've just transmitted. Whatever virus, it doesn't matter swine flu, seasonal flu, this is basic respiratory hygiene. I would even go so far, and you may laugh, even go so far as foregoing the traditional good old American handshake, which is capable of transmitting whatever virus you've got on your hands, to a different greeting. Dalai Lama just came through town. This one is good. Hi. That prevents transmission of disease. This surgical mask will not prevent someone from catching the swine flu. This N95 respirator mask will help prevent catching the swine flu. However, Dr. Bob Benjamin of the Alameda County Public Health Department says there is a catch. It's, unless it's properly fitted, it probably is of no vet greater value than a surgical mask. They have to be professionally fit tested by someone who has been trained under OSHA standards. Dr. Benjamin says masks should be worn primarily by carriers of disease. The reason that a mask should be worn is if you are ill to prevent transmission to others. Just because you have a mask or use one, it doesn't mean you're not gonna get flu. At the Alameda County Public Health Department, Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.